You guys ready to start the show? My friend uh, Doug, uh, we're hanging out at this guy's place, and uh, we thought it would be a really funny idea to play Truth or Dare uh, with some of these girls. And the idea was that, like, uh, when it came to daring, like, I would dare a girl to kiss him, my friend Doug, and then Doug would dare girls to kiss me. So it didn't seem like we were trying to get, like, yo, I dare you to kiss me, like, which is, like, a shitty thing to do. It's really creepy. Uh, and so I thought it'd be, like, I was like, to be safe, we'll just, like, and then, like, I did that two times in a row, and Doug never did it to me. So all of a sudden, in this game of truth or dare, I look like a guy that's, like, way into his friend making out, like, I dare you to kiss Doug. He's the king. <laughs> and so... I, uh, you know, we're playing for a while and it's like so dumb because we're adults and we're playing, you know, truth or dare at this party. And then all of a sudden, uh, Courtney Love uh, from uh, Whole Eyes comes, comes walking by. And then uh, I have uh, Drunken Tourette's. I don't know if you guys have that. It's when you think of something funny and you say it before thinking about anything else. And so she's uh, walking by. I go, hey, Courtney Love, you in on this game of truth or dare? And before I could turn back to everyone at the table and go, did you just see what I said to Courtney Love? Uh, she goes, okay. And then like saunters up to the table like a drunk, shitty walrus. Uh, <laughs> goes, I'm here to ruin your good time. And everyone was like, oh, fuck, why'd you do that? <laughs> you, you just like, you just invited the bummer vampire into our, our truth or dare shit. And so I was like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I thought it was just going to be a funny thing that I could tell people I said. And uh, so anyway, she sits down, and it's, you know, she's the newest person in the game, so it's, uh, it's time for someone to ask her. So this girl goes, all right, Courtney Love. <laughs> True, they're there. Everyone's like, ah, we're, we're too old for this. And then uh, Courtney Love goes, truth. And then everyone goes, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. And then we all start zeroing on the girl going, fucking ask her. Ask her, ask her. Oh, and everyone's like kicking her under the table, going, fucking ask her. It's like this is an opportunity we have to and if you're a fan of music, if you know, if you like anything at all, if you're just a fan of history in general, it's something you have this insight to ask her the question that anyone would want to know. It's cause you can't lie. It's truth or fucking dare. You know? <laughs> And the gate's the whole reason of having the game. And so everyone's like, going, come on, come on, ask her. And the girl's kind of like, um, uh, the um, best person you ever had sex with. Fucking bummer. Which is so shitty. It's a shitty thing. Everyone's like, oh, fuck you. Because that's, and it turns out it's Billy Corgan, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> it's like a little bit interesting because you just go, oh, I bet it's like leather and robots and shit, you know. And he cries in the middle of it, you know. <laughs> But uh, it's not nearly as interesting as the stuff we could have known. And then, that, and then uh, you know, Courtney Love goes, all right, uh, your turn. Uh, truth or dare? The girl goes, truth. And then Courtney Love asks that girl, when did you know your first dream died? And then everyone collectively was like, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. And then they point at me, fuck you. <laughs> fuck hole. This sucks. And everyone gets up and leaves. And then I'm bummed. And I, like, you know, I know it was my fault. I brought her in. And then, like, I go up to the girl who, like, you know, it could have been a momentous thing. It could have been the most amazing thing that we could have found out. It would have been legendary. And then I go up to the girl uh, that asked her the question. I was like, why didn't you do it? Why didn't you ask her that question? She's like, you really expected me to ask her that question. I said, yes. Even if Courtney Love had said dare, you should have said, I dare you to tell us you killed Kurt Cobain. <laughs> and now's the time I hang out with. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Side One. <laughs>